Now we'll do Jarvis Consulting again. We are using the um, accounts and the balance sheet, the asset accounts, liability, shareholders, equity accounts, and we're going to record business transactions. And recall, recall that transactions are an exchange, so two things happen in these accounts, but it happens in such a way that the balance, the accounting equation still remains in balance. So here we have Jarvis Consulting, which was established May 1st, 2012. And you're asked to do the following transactions. And then you're asked to present a income statement, retained earnings, and a balance sheet. So this, we start then May 1st. Uh, stockholders invested 15000 in cash in, for common stock. So cash goes up, 15000 And common stock goes up. 15,000. Put a plus there. And I paid 600 for office rent. I paid cash, so negative cash, 600. And office rent is an expense, so we set that up as negative. All expenses and dividends are negative. Okay, three. Purchase 500 supplies on account. So my supplies go up 500. So May 3rd, supplies up 500, and my accounts payable goes up 500. So you see, we're still in balance. And I paid 150 to advertise in the, the newspaper. So negative, I paid cash, 150. And it's advertising expense, so it's negative 150 over here. Then I pay, I received 400 for services provided. So May 9th, services provided right off the bat. You put plus 1400. And I got cash, so my cash goes up 1400. On the 12th, I paid 200 in dividends. So I would have paid by cash, so negative 200. And over here, dividends, negative 200. Kind of running out of room there, but negative 200 over here anyway. And then we perform services. Okay, bang. 15th, perform services plus uh, 4,200. Every time it performs services, it's revenue. Question is, did I get cash? No, I didn't get cash. So it's an accounts receivable plus 4,200. Every time I earn revenue, I either get cash or accounts receivable. But each time my revenue will increase because revenue increases as I earn. On the 17th, I paid 2,500 salary employees, salaries for employees. Well, I paid cash. They wouldn't take an IOU. 2,500, and that's an expense. Over here, negative 2,500. Okay, then I paid for supplies purchased up here. Uh, so I get rid of my accounts payable, so I pay 500 in cash, so cash goes down, but my accounts payable goes down 500, and therefore I don't owe them anymore. Then I received a cash payment of 1200 for the services provided on May 15th. So on the 15th, the guy owes me 4200 ah, but he's only paying me 1200 so therefore plus 12 and I go negative 12 here because he only he owes me 3000 now, not 4200 On the 26th, I borrowed cash from the bank on a notes payable. So if I borrowed cash, my cash would go up 5000 And my notes payable also would go up 5000 Okay, so... Uh, on the 29th, I purchased office equipment, 2000 paying 200 in cash and a balance on account. All right, so my office equipment goes up 2000 But I paid only 200 cash, so my cash goes down, negative 2. And my accounts payable goes up 1800 so notice I have plus 1,800 on the right side of the equal sign and plus 1,800 on the left side. 
And lastly, 30, I paid 180 in utilities. So I paid that with cash. And utility is an expense, so I have that. And I total. That's it. So now I total the effect all transactions had on cash. Such as at the end of May 30th, cash has a balance. 18,270. Accounts receivable has a balance of 3,000. And supplies has a balance of 500. And 2,000 for equipment. So I add these. And I got total assets of 23,770. Now on the liability side, I have a notes payable of 5,000. So put the equal sign here. Plus accounts payable of 1,800. You can add that up. Common stock of 15,000. Revenue of 5,600. Expenses. 3430 and dividends of 200 put it here so it's negative dividends negative expense 5000 plus that plus common stock of 15000 plus 5600 and on this side of the equal sign i have 23707 so now i started off at the beginning of may started this business, recorded these transactions, now I'm going to present a balance sheet, or an income statement, statement retained earnings, and a balance sheet. Okay then, Jarvis Consulting Inc. Income Statement for the month ending May 31st, 2012. Now you can write better than that, because I'm writing on an iPad. First of all, revenues, service revenues. So I just put service revenue. And that would be 5,600 using the numbers we had in the transaction. Okay. Then we have expenses. First of all, salaries and wages. I don't have to keep putting expense. So I'm going to be adding these up, so I move to the inside column 2,500. Then there was rent. And that was 600. And then there's utilities. And that was 180. Now you can put these in any order you want, really. And then there's advertising. Okay. And the advertising was 150. Total expenses. Uh, whoops, no short form. Expenses and they total three thousand four hundred and thirty. Therefore, net income is revenue minus expenses two thousand one hundred and seventy, and we double underline that. Now we could put dollars up here if we wanted. Okay, so that is my income statement. Okay, I've gone ahead and written the heading, Jarvis Consulting, Retained Earnings, for the month ended May 31st, 2012. Okay, so we start off with um, Retained Earnings, beginning of the month. Retained Earnings, May 1st, 0. Add Net Income. that we have just figured out, uh, which was 2,170. And you could just say deduct uh, dividends. And the dividends were 200. And so therefore, retained earnings First is two one thousand nine 
970. Double underline. Okay, now the balance sheet. Jarvis Consulting Inc. Balance Sheet, May 31st, 2012. We start off, of course, with assets. And the first grouping of assets are current assets. All right, and the first current asset is cash. And cash has a balance of 18270 the next is accounts receivable. Now you have to put the whole thing. This is a formal financial statement. No short forms. Must be organized and nicely and professionally. 3000 Then we have supplies. Okay. And supplies are 500 So therefore, total current assets. Total current assets. Assets carried to the outside twenty one thousand seven seven zero. Now we have one fixed asset, so equipment, no depreciation yet. So I'll just put it to the outside two thousand. We bought the equipment. Total assets Twenty three thousand seven seven zero, just like I had on my sheet. Seven seven zero. Now we have liabilities. And shareholders equity. Twenty one thousand seven hundred and 